Hi, I'm Melissa from Resilience Law. You were just scheduled for your social security hearing, which should be happening in the next two to three months. So I'm gonna go over the next steps for you. These are the steps that I follow in my office. If you're following along on YouTube, you may have to do them yourself. So, uh, or contact a lawyer to help you with your hearing. Uh, first, the first step is gonna be to get together all the documents that Social Security, the Office of Hearing Operations wants you to fill out. Although you've already told Social Security everything about your health and your work history, the Office of Hearing Operations wants you to fill all of that out again and submit it to them. If you're working with a lawyer, send the forms right to them and I will submit it electronically. If you're working on your own, you'll need to email it, uh, sorry, fax it or mail it back to the Office of Hearing Operations. The next step will be to update your medical records. When you wanna go before the judge, you're gonna to wanna to have the most up-to-date date records possible. Um, it takes me six weeks uh, to two, six to eight weeks to get your medical records in from the date that I request them. Uh, it can be a little faster if you do it yourself, uh, but typically it's going to take a while. So as soon as that hearing uh, notice comes in, you're going to want to request records or get in touch with me so we can figure out what records we need to get and start the process, uh, the long haul of making sure that those are submitted to the judge and ready for review on the date of your hearing. Uh, and a final thing to do to prepare for the hearing is to get your doctor to complete an RFC, a residual functioning functional capacity form. This RFC uh, helps the judge understand the nature of your disabilities. Uh, it has to be completed by your treating physician, so it's awarded the most weight in terms of a doctor's opinion on your claim. They can really go a long way to helping your claim be successful, particularly if you have a borderline claim. So uh, if I haven't sent them to you, please request them, uh, an RFC, either a physical RFC, a mental health RFC, or I have a couple of specialty RFCs for back pain, fibromyalgia. These can really go a long way in helping your claim be successful. If you're headed to a hearing and you don't have a lawyer, please give me or any other lawyer a call because it really, uh, it's very difficult for a claimant to win without a lawyer by their side to advocate for them at the hearing level. Uh, if you are working with me, what typically happens is I'll request your records. And then as we get closer to the hearing, I'll touch base with you to talk about what to expect in the specifics of your claim that you can expect to hear from me and the judge about during the hearing itself. Uh, thanks for working with me. If you are, if not, give me a call. Let's get started. I'm Melissa at Resilience Law.